Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about torque converter selection and setup. Ever since we started using more of the Chevrolet based TH400 transmission in our Super Drag Race program, We've had more inquiries on converter setup and selection. So today we're just gonna go over the basic information that you need to know to select the right torque converter and know that you have it tuned properly. So in a manual transmission, you have the clutch that's gonna transmit the power from the engine to the transmission. In an automatic transmission, you have this torque converter, which is a fluid coupling device that transmits the power from the engine to the transmission. Unlike a traditional clutch, the torque converter can be tuned to suit different applications. So if you have a small engine and a large turbo, the torque converter will have a much different profile than if you have a large engine and say a roots blower because of how the engine will make torque. From the outside, the torque converter hasn't changed much in the past 10 years or so. However, on the inside, there's been a lot of advances with the stator. Thanks to companies like ProTorque in New York, they've been able to manipulate the stator to become a much more efficient piece at transmitting power between the engine and the transmission. Major advancements have happened with the stator, which is basically the heart of the torque converter. The number of the blades, the length of the blades, the pitch of the blades, they all manipulate how the fluid is transferred through the unit. With a properly tuned torque converter setup, you should be able to achieve launch boost on the trans brake in one and a half to two and a half seconds. When you release the trans brake and the engine is set free from its launch RPM, it's going to start to accelerate the vehicle. The trick here is to have the engine accelerating at say 600 RPM per second, pulling the engine up into a usable power range while pulling the vehicle in motion. If the torque converter is too tight, you'll let go of the trans brake and the engine won't accelerate. And if the torque converter is too loose, then the engine will race away from the transmission and you won't transfer that full amount of energy from the engine to the transmission, which is just effectively too much slippage. In a manual transmission car, the RPM that the engine falls to after a gear change is dictated by the gear ratio of the transmission. In an automatic car, the RPM that the engine falls to after a gear change is dictated by the torque converter. The engine speed will only fall back to where the torque converter will let it, so you can effectively keep the engine in a range of RPM that has a higher power output. If you have the engine RPM, tire circumference, gear ratio, and mile per hour, you can calculate torque converter slippage. A well-tuned torque converter will slip less than 10% in the eighth mile and less than 5% in the quarter mile. This is a big deal considering a decade ago, it, were, it was near impossible to get a torque converter that was loose enough at the front half of the track and tight enough at the back half of the track that you weren't giving up power. So for those of you that have been asking about torque converter stuff, this is what you're gonna get out of it. You're gonna be able to get into boost one and a half to two and a half seconds. When you release the trans brake, the engine is gonna accelerate up to a usable power band, pulling the car in motion. You're gonna have a recovery point on the gear change where the engine is kept in its window of sweet spot, making the most amount of power to get the car down the track. And you're gonna have single digit converter slippage through the trap speed. So if you have an automatic transmission car and you're not getting this type of performance out of the converter, it's probably the next place you should look. We appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you next week. Thanks.